Yo, Embrace Me Podcast, episode 68, man. Auto Cash will be back in the building. Bow, bow, back bow, in the building. bow, bow, bow. But on what you were just saying, like, kind of don't don't meet your heroes. Cause... No, no, I, I'm not saying, I, I listen, bro, and that's the truth, I don't want to be my hero. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't thinking he's sus right now, if we say he's <laughs> sus right now, I ain't trying to meet him because he starts touching right. you kind of weird. You yeah, feel me? I'm but right. I'm saying, like, it's that's, that's a tough thing. Because, like, listen, like, also, like, when it comes to that, like, people have, like, that certain, um, What's it called? That certain agenda. Yeah. Right? Like, people know and people will talk about you in the industry. Like, I don't know if mad people came out about Will, mad people come about Puff. I feel like it's different because, well, Will isn't, uh, you know, he could be like that bridge. Like, Puff, like, it's kind of like you got to go through Puff if you want to, like, get big or whatever. Like, you know, like that that meme where it's like, yo, when your boy, you see him on, like, Puff's story and then the nigga has, like, a billion followers and next day you're like ah yeah that nigga done you know what I'm saying he got a billion streams all of a sudden after <laughs> that weekend mad right? gifted so it's like I don't think Will he's in that scene but I don't think you, you don't really go through him to like get big to get like a break even though you can but it's different with Puff like if you want to be a rapper or whatever and then you get up you there through Puff, yeah, yeah. or acting but I feel like Will's never really been like no one really comes. Under. But you you go. The thing is though, like like it's like there's a is a stigma though behind it because you can yeah. go to the Puff party, yeah. but you go to the Rockefeller party, the Rock, they can the Jay Z, the same but thing. the Jay Z party nobody nobody be complaining about the Jay Z party. Like niggas go there and have like they don't say they don't be like oh no weird shit was happening, but they go to a Puff party, they be like some weird shit happened. Like yeah. I seen the I seen the interview yeah. where it was Jada Kiss, yeah. Puff, and then he was like, bro, but you ain't like, never party with me. You ain't never like, party with me. He was calling me. them niggas that or something. And then Daddy. Niggas, bro, them niggas. And fam. Bro, you tell me niggas with kids older than us is uncomfortable around the pub. Like, Come on. Nigga, not, Jada, this nigga Jada was, was like, that nigga look mad uncomfortable. I'm like, mad bro, uncomfortable. Mad niggas. uncomfortable. That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, you know, it's like, like them crazy. niggas I know for sure, like, they know he be wilding, bro. Yeah. Like, they could be saying, well, he told, he told, um, he told, um, he told him, you gotta go shopping with me. Fab, I think it was Fab, right? Nah, he told, I think he told 50, he's like, you gotta go shopping nah, with me, bro. Crazy. Like, let me go shopping. Fab was like, nah, you ain't never party with me. Or like, I'm gonna party with you or something. Oh, yeah, like, too. I'm like, ah, damn. See, yeah, see like, that's like, that's crazy. You like, just know. Or like, that's outright. Mace. I think Mace, was, I think he was probably one of the first to like broadcast it back then. I was looking at those, those old interviews and he'd be like, nah, Puff is like. A little mookie. Like, they'd be saying something like, um. Like, he was a legend to, like, Puff being gay, like, back then. Like, he would compare him to, like, the drag queens or whatever. Oh, shit. Type, like, in interviews. And I can like, see it, though. Yeah, I can see him, bro. Definitely. I can see him being, like, a Tyler Perry-ass nigga, bro. Nah, definitely. Yo, I think it's just, like... He's think, another one, too. Tyler oh, Perry. heavy For that. sure. I think it's, like, when you get into that scene of, like, you're on that level, right? It, I feel like it'd be kind of like, like porn or whatever, right? Like, bro, if you just doing too much, bro, you always want the next fix or whatever. And then these niggas start going crazy. Nah. Like, with Dwight and them niggas, right? Like, don't you see it's Dwight, like, he got like he 13, got a problem. He got a problem. He got 13 baby mamas, but he now he, he's actually a salty nigga's name. The, the nigga's name was Kitty or some nah, shit. Nah, that, that's... Like, and I ain't gonna lie to you, that's a big nigga to run away from. 10, that's, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, you ever see that, um, shit, bro? Well, you ever see that movie, bro? <laughs> and it's Cat Williams, and he gets stuck in the bathroom? Nah. And the nigga trying to get him, bro? And he's like... It's like, I think it was, uh... It was an Ice Cube movie, bro. It's an Ice Cube movie. Nah. But is it, is it, uh... Friday After Friday? That was and the then third, they, that's like the third one. The right? third one or after second I, one. After the second, I think I... Think bro, I think these niggas... So, like five of them. Bro, it's before. like Debo trying to take this thing <laughs> out, bro. I feel like that's what it is. That's the equivalent yeah, to Dwight like, Howard running after like... like wild, bro. Like, bro, this nigga like 6'10", bro. And it's, that's crazy, though, because, like, bro, nigga really got... His kid is old enough, though. Like, bro, you get cooked, imagine. Cooked? Like, no. I ain't not even saying nothing. That's, a, live that that's how you know that, that, that you know that's really happened, right? Like, yeah. That nigga said... Stop worrying about my yeah, business. Nah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they say, yo, get off my business, even, bro. Nah, he even say, nah, like, it happened. Like, you know, like, he not even like, you know, nah, that's not me, nah, 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 bro. That nigga say, yo, bro, listen, get off my business. That's, that's that what shit. happened guilty. between me and him, bro. That's a 50 shit, like, guilty, bro. He did that shit. He, get, bro, he, he did, did that, that shit, bro. <laughs> he did that. But yeah, that nigga give a fuck. It's just like, bro, when you get there, it's just like, mad stuff thrown at you. Like, all the perversions and all of that. I think it's just like I mean there's I feel like and I mean too there's been a lot of people through history that's done it like yeah. the dude on the Bulls what's his name Dennis Rodman probably was there oh no, it was but yeah heavy on that but I, I I don't think that's I think that's an extreme I don't think that's everybody 
I mean, I I don't yeah. think that's everybody, bro. That's I think that's a a a a percentage, a small but percentage. Everyone in terms of who, like you talking about all the famous people, or you saying? I think there's a couple of real famous people that do, but it's a percentage though. I don't think it's like all these niggas is is is. You that's know? that's fair, but I mean, yeah, I think it, I feel like it's a higher number. It's not everyone. I, I, I feel would like say it's like, a higher number than what we see. Like, I say like thirty percent. Yeah, but thirty is a lot. It's a lot. Like, I would say something like a good percentage of all the people we we looked up to or people we look up to now is probably like in like if there was like an Epstein type book and you seen it, you'd be like, damn, this is damn near all he was wild. Like if you had to remove like niggas off your playlist that, that was in that shit, it would be like two niggas. Like you have like four songs in your whole phone type shit. Like that's what I feel like. Not for real. I feel like it's something more. I think it had mad people in there, bro. Yeah, you know. <laughs> They, he had, he had, they had the the uh the disabled dude, but so he's like smart. It's, it's Stephen Hawking. They said I don't know that's how. Crazy. That's crazy. Wild, Nick, that when it, that came out, that shit had <laughs> that shit had me rolling, bro. Literally, bro. Nigga sick. Bro. Nigga said, yeah. Who would have thought that when he uh FC had <laughs> FC last thing he thought he had to put a ramp on his eye, bro. <laughs> yeah, not for real, bro. That nigga turned into a transformer when he got yeah, there, he had bro. To put the uh the jetpack shit. Like. <laughs> nah, they was wilding. They was cooking that nigga, bro. But you see, like that that's. So that's different though. That's different. That's just nasty. That's nasty. Yeah. You know that's that's R. Kelly shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's and I and I think I think I, I I agree with you. Like there's things that become very hypersexualized yeah. when you get to that stage, and the normal like normal sex is not enough. Yeah, yeah. So normal sex is not enough. Like, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Um, and that's where that issue lies. But I I, I, I there's only a percentage though. I can't. I I won't. I can't believe I haven't seen it yet. I'm not, I'm not there, right? <laughs> to believe yeah, yeah. that, like seventy, eighty percent is wild and like that, bro. Probably not. I feel like it's. I feel like it's more prevalent with um, people in our group because, like, I know a lot of people that, like, yo, we at an age where niggas understand like life. Like, it's hard. Like, yo, if you make forty k, it's gonna be kind of hard. Fifty, like, ah, oh, okay, but you know, it's not gonna be easy. Sixty, seventy, right? So. Niggas trying to be creative. Niggas trying to get their break. Like, I'm talking about rapping, music, YouTube, film, acting. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, niggas are trying to do whatever to get into them rooms. In the rooms, like, bro, you're just trying to be different or whatever, right? So I think that's where it comes into play, where you just take advantage of these people that's hungry, right? Mm. Because, like, I think I've seen something where they're like, yo, they're kind of throwing it in your face, right? Because the thing they'd like to preach to you about is how bad do you want it, right? So, yeah, how bad do you want it? Like, for real. Cause, and then that's where it comes, in, comes into play, right? Because, like, me, even me, I was thinking, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm uploading all these videos. I'm doing music, boom, boom, boom. But I'm trying to, like, yo, I'm trying to start making money off this for real, right? But it comes to a point where it's like, yo, you do anything to to get that, right? Anything, yeah. And then you may be in that position, and then you do something, and it's like, yo. And then, Shit. All right, that brings me to this, a topic right here, right? Like, that brings me to the um, start talking about Meg and Nikki. Yo, I ain't see too much, but I I heard. Yeah, they going crazy at Meg's mom's crazy. uh grave site. Bro. Is wild, bro. Like Nikki came at Meg's mom's death, bro. Yo, Nikki? nah, I just I just want to preface this though. Let's just let's just explain what's going on, right? Yeah. Like so, Meg put out a song called like um, what's it called, Hits or something like that. And she she talking about um. So she went first. She went first, all and right. she dropped a song. This song is a diss track to all her haters. This was at Tory party, Nicki. What's a lot of doing? I seen she had a diss at Lotto. I was like, maybe I, had some. Well, like, she, she was just spraying, did. bro. Like what well, I do, like you know, she's spraying. Shit. Like, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck Lotto. Yeah, I was like, he fuck your baby mom. He fuck your baby mom. I'm like, yo, what she do? But yeah, nah, nah, I don't know, bro. I mean, I don't know. Oh, first of all, all rap women rappers have beef with Lauren for no reason. <laughs> yeah, for no like, reason, bro. She was just beefing with Corey Leroy. That's crazy. Yo, I don't even know what they like. What I they beefing about? Yeah, bro. Yo, No Name. Before we go, yo, No Name is probably like my favorite female rapper. She stay out the beef like that. But I'm gonna say that'd be disingenuous because No Name is one of my favorite rappers. Like, I'm gonna okay. say. If I say ever, not say ever, no. Nah, she she might be my rotation, bro. Especially the last album. And then, I think all of them, yeah. except I think Room Twenty Telephone or Room Twenty Five or whatever. The debut album was crazy. She be rapping. And then yeah, but anyway, she got a lot of beats. Yeah, but um, yeah. So they both going back and 
Well, Meg dropped that, yeah. and Nikki got like inspired, <laughs> and she dropped like her. She dropped her shit, running at, yeah. running at it, and it was like uh, it's called it was called a uh, Bigfoot, yeah, cause she got like big feet. Hey, so, listen, it, bro. Shorty's coming all shapes and sizes. Like, you know, yo, it'd be women that be hating on women, bro, for real. For real. Right? That's their biggest downfall. No niggas, like, um. Tory Lanez. Yeah, or no niggas is like, yo, she got her feet too big. Like, nah, that's. I don't think no niggas. Really I feel like, nigga, I, I, if you see it in person, I say it, but I'm not going to say it to yeah, everybody. But you, yeah, and you're not going to be like a, this, like, right? Anyways, yeah. Yeah, nah, it's just, it's just, it's just. It's just big. It's like, just big for you. Yeah, exactly. You see a big for you, be like, God damn. Yeah. You say right, you look at it. That's not gonna stop. That's not like, gonna stop nothing. Right? Yeah. Like. Yeah. But um, there was a bar that Nikki said where she said, um, she said something. Let me pull it up. Actually, she said, so I don't fuck it up. Uh, rap, rap genius. Yo, she in her forties though. That's kind of crazy. She, bro, she, she too really. Old. Like, that's the another thing I want to talk about. Like crazy, she, though. she might be a little too old to be. Hopping into these rap beefs. Man, isn't Meg like our age or just like a little bit older than She's just like, like a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. So it's like... Damn, we 20... Never mind. We, no, she it's it's like, like, how do you feel about a legend coming down? Like, we know you a legend already. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Them punching down at us? Yeah. At us. At, you know, a newer artist. You know what I'm saying? Somebody coming up. How do you feel about because that? Because, like, she had on Monster, like, bro, she's in them conversations where, like, she be on a song with Kanye, all these people, and then they be like, she got the best verse. So, like... If you do that, I feel like you shouldn't have to be doing stuff like this, I feel like. And just from what I've seen, I think Meg's diss to her was like a, it was like a subtle job. Like, I think it was, it was like a nice, like, wordplay or something like that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was like a cool, her bar was like, her bar was, bar. was like, uh, um, everybody, uh, mad at me, but bitch, you should be mad at, uh, Ma- uh, Megan's Law. Megan's Law. Yeah. That's good. That's 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 a bar. That's a bar. That's good. That's I'm like, bar. damn. That's that's yeah. I never would have thought about that. That's a bar. But the nigga was just like, she was trying to rhyme. She was just mad and she was trying to rhyme like just some shit. Nah, this is how she started. I'm gonna I'm gonna just first her intro. I'm just gonna say her intro right. Um, been trail, been doing it, been at it. Your flow is such a bore. Drinking a bottle of honey through a straw, but you better stop that dialogue. I don't like that rhyme scheme. Yo, I That's feel like that was my script. thing. I don't like... It's just too, The way like, she rhymes is crazy. It's too, like... To me, at least that is too um, elementary type. Like, it's really just, like, awesome. Like, nah, bro. She... Like, you gotta be... Like, bro. Just be a little bit more... She said, for I hit comedy and buy your catalog <laughs> side. How you fuck your mother man when she died? How you go... Uh, how, how you going to Gail King and can't cry? Chill by, child by, Bigfoot, but you're still a small fry. I don't Swear know. on your dead mother when you lie. Hey, yo, that's crazy. First of all, that's the intro. I feel like we could talk about that too because is it in hip hop though? And this is niggas doobie. This like, it's no hands. No, no. no yeah, I mean, doobie, personally, so like, me, I'm a battle rap fan. Yeah. Right? And niggas, there's, I feel like there's some bars that niggas be taking it way too far. Right, like, yeah. like you know, there's some things like that you like, like there's some things that you know is like off limits for surely, right? Yeah. Unless like, like especially if it's you could do it one time, like usually if it's like really big build up to a battle rap, like you yeah. know, I really watched like I remember there was one that was like uh, Tay Rock versus um some dude, bro, and this thing and Tay Rock started wilding on on his on his dude because his dude this dude's wife was a crackhead, mm. like a recovering drug addict. This is the first time somebody hit him with that scheme. Damn, but it's because niggas knew, like, that's, like, off flip. But this nigga took it there because, you know, he had to do... It's a big what fight, I guess. Do, yeah. But it's, like, personally me, yeah. that's a bad look. I feel like it could be different, though, because in battle rap, I don't know too much about battle rap, but it's, like, it's like sports. Like, they don't... It's, like, it's, you know, yeah. Pat Bev and, and uh, Russ will be... Uh, yeah, but, each other, but after the game you dap up. Yeah, yeah but you, you so pat back don't go over to uh right. to LeBron and be like, yo, fuck your dead moms, bro. Yeah, but in that sense, right? In battle rap, but in like rap though, niggas really be hating each other. Like Push and Drake or um Meek, Meek and Drake, Pac and Big. What was the biggest thing that Meek and Drake said to each other? Drake what biggest line was it? nothing crazy was, though. Drake was I was talking about the niggas who really like who was bad. Like the it? worst the worst niggas no one, Vaseline niggas was talking they was niggas, yeah, but they was just saying fuck you this 
So Nas won. I think Nas Wu, against Jay. Wu did something against Big, I'm pretty sure, right? Method Man did. I'm pretty sure someone was dissing. I don't know if they was dissing their whole, like, dead families and No, shit like Ghostface and Meth, they was, they was dissing niggas, for real. Like, they was like, yo, right? They, and they really hate niggas. They really ain't niggas. Like, like Meek and, uh, not Meek, but, like, Push really don't like Drake. That nigga was talking about, uh, his unbo- 40s. His, yeah, his unborn his son. son. Not, not in a bad way, but not 40, in a bad way. Just that he had a son. Or but Forty had a is it scoliosis or something? Or he had he had a disease, the tick 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 thing, right? Yeah. Where I'm like, yo, these niggas like, really don't like. He really like they See, don't but, like each other. Um, I feel like, you. I feel you. That that's I like was, I was that's at him that. though, right? Yeah. That's like okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to talk about somebody that's gone, that's passed, niggas that's, don't worry. That's bro. That's. Troy, Troy Ave did that to Joey Badass friend that died. They committed suicide. I remember he did like a Superman bar. They they be doing it's just it's that just was crazy. wild. Like so his friend, you know, like you, yeah. So he was like, uh, he think he a superhero trying to fly and shit. I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy though. See what I'm saying though? You saying that's crazy? Yeah. Like there's a line, not, and it's like, and it's and it depends on how you do it if it's tasteful or not. But like I feel like the way she did that just now was not tasteful. I feel like it. Because I guess I I don't have that much room to stand on because like I I'm rocked with Pusha's verse against Drake right yeah. where I'm like you know what these niggas don't like each other and I I don't think there's a point where they're not doing it for sport like you really just don't like this thing and like like bro fuck you bro like I feel you I think that it's just that mentality of like bro like I feel it yeah no, I can see it this is not no game this is not. So that's like, just like I'm just trying to disrespect. That was my thing because with Nikki, you could tell like she was just uh she just had fumes like she that that rap, that rap wasn't even good. She was just she just say whatever. She was thinking of shit. She hated and just rhyming it like right. It's <laughs> like I said, my my what's it called uh, my hair better than y'all. My yeah. board is better than y'all. I skate better than you. I'm so, better than you. Did you see that video? Yeah, nah, it is. It is. That is OD though. Like someone's my. I, I just I just feel like you know what's what 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 can be in play is what's alive. And what's an actually apparent, right? Like, or yeah. not, not even like apparent. Like, if you put, dig up some shit, like, oh yeah, you went to jail back by the back, or you got a kid, or that shit, like you know. But you're not wishing death on them. You know, yo, you know, all them drill niggas that be hating each other. We smoking on this person's nah, pack, that, that but person's that's pack. great. Yeah, but they they so breathing that shit into existence because that's that same thing. It's that like <laughs> King Bond. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But I feel like it's that same type of. I feel like rappers always kind of have the energy. There's with certain people that really like they really have beef. Like yeah, um, like, them niggas was really beefing for over like gang type territory. shit, right? So. But even with them, I feel like shorties though, in general, they be taking stuff to the extreme. Like that's just like shorties that's, in general. I don't even, like come they on. Just be going and I, I don't know, maybe it's just cause it's Nikki saying it too. Like it's like it's she's uh, old, and then it like it's different if it's someone Meg's age. But like yeah, you you could potentially there's forty eight or forty five year olds with twenty four year old children. Like like facts. it's possible. Like, that's that's literally a thing. Like you could legitimately be like your aunt or some shit. Like, you you try say age, bro. Like come on. Yeah, but I, I and I and you know Nikki again. She be doing this. She be going at. She be going at people. And I don't know why. I think. I mean, people say it's ego because she was doing the same she thing with Cardi did. back then. She did it with Cardi. She did it with Lotto. Did she did it with Nikki. No, nah, she fucked with Ice Spice. She did the song with I Ice think Spice. It's, you know what? I think because Ice Spice is not really. She not. She taking calm. her throne or not like that. No, she calm. But it's, different, saying her it's different with Cardi and Meg. Like they were like. Nick was like, nah, she could really rap better than... I was really surprised her. about about Cardi, because they from New York. Yeah. I thought there was going to be some shit there. Yeah, I feel like that made that amplifies even more. Like, y'all both women, y'all both from the same place, and now this shorty is like, they saying that she better than you, and all that. So I feel like it's just like, nah, I'm, I'm supposed to be the only one mm-hmm. that, you know, is doing this. Now it's someone else. Like, yeah, I, I definitely... You know what? In that first part, I definitely think it's an ego thing. Yeah. Like, she sees, like, oh, somebody trying to take my spot, I gotta go for it. It's like yeah. that old school mentality. But I don't know if she she executing it right. Nah, she's not at all. I don't think she executing it. She's before damn it. Everyone came after Bro, come bro. on. Because, <laughs> like, and you know, too, like, like, I don't know. Let me just read this next. <laughs> let me just read this next verse real quick. Yo. This little begging whore talking about Megan's law. For a free beat, you can hit Megan's raw. Uh, hit Megan raw. Damn. I'm your, uh, if you a ghost rider party in Megan's draw. Shots thrown, but I still ain't let Mega score. I don't like that. I don't like that last two lines. Shots thrown, but I still ain't let Megan score. 
I don't like that one. That was that was bad. But those, those but the three, other one, three, those those are haymakers. Yeah, no, it was like yeah, yeah. I kinda it was like haymaker right there. That means yeah. she hit the bad bitch. She lay six foot. The that iconic. Sense, though. Like, wait, I, I don't get it. Bad bitch. She lay six foot. I call her big foot. That bitch fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. That's the shit she was putting on. I didn't like IG. the part because it's just like it's like she's trying to insinuate that Meg being. Yo, also one thing, yo, hold up, because they both black, right? So, see, that's what I don't like, because how you trying to, like, tear down a black woman on, okay, she tall, she got big feet, like, on some, like, it's like that subtle shit, though, where it's like, yo, like, come on, bro. I know she, you know what I'm saying, though? You tapping into some shit right there. Like, on some, like, because it always be, not like shorties, though, because they be trying to, like. Cause I feel like Meg, because right, if you if you tall, taller than usual, or big have big feet, feet, then you're gonna try to insinuate on something like, oh, you like a man, or you. It's like that's kind of and black on black. It's like, come on, bro. It's like yeah, like if if it's cause if big, it's yeah. racist people that always use that, and then and now her and throwing it, side, it's like, bro, it's you, like, come on, you like if you ever look back, like, huh, me and this racist dude have the same feelings about this black woman, like, bro, you want you on the wrong, bro. So black I on like, black crime. I don't like that in that sense, but like I do like, not like the bars or whatever. But yeah, if you mad at her and you going at her, okay, yes, you could. Yeah, it's but just I'm saying again. This on what it, it don't. Be I'm just saying what, like, bro, some of it like to me, it's not in the way she delivered it. Like she got some more. It's just not tasteful, bro. Yeah, it's not tasteful. That's Too because the way I feel like the way she been rapping lately. I don't know if you heard her last album. That nah, shit was I'm trash. She's too. I don't know though. She's been rapping too know. much of like that. I don't like a nigga. Uh, 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 yeah. you, know, you know, like uh, it's too. I I feel like my thing is just the rhyme scheme, probably. Like it's too elementary. Too. Like it's too like you rhyming. Like I like when people rhyme words, but rhyme words that don't really rhyme, but you can fit it. Or different types of schemes, not just like bar, far, car, and then just like, and it's the whole the whole sixteen bars would be the and same then, yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, bro, like come on, man, like. You you've been on songs with Jay Z, Drake, Kanye, all that, and you held your own, if not have better verses. So there's no way you should be rapping like that, right, bro. She got a bar here that goes. <laughs> you was lying to the queen. Uh, then you went lying to the king, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, yo, she do that a lot. Like, she's the way that, <laughs> bro. I, yo, Safari was definitely writing her shit. I think that's what it was, bro, when they was dated. Cause yeah, she got to fix some yeah, shit up because yeah. that's, that's crazy. That's wild, bro. Bro, I, I don't know, bro, but I feel like what even prompted Meg to even do that? Because I didn't even know that they was, like, even... Wait like, a while, look at this. Wait a while. <laughs> I'm about to get up in your ass, bitch. Clench. Mm, yeah, something like French. <laughs> hey, yo, right? They they got you all the Grammys, but your flow still no. What a fiasco, Lupe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's that's like objectively like bad. Like that's like not. Bro, like oh, what you, the last one was like a fiasco, Lupe or something. Yeah, like, that's, fiasco. That's Lupe. Not, that's not. That don't even, like you can't just throw in the ad lib. And then it's kind of like, bro, every day mama know what you about to say, bro. Like, because I feel like she be rapping like that a lot. Where it's just, nah, it's look, on the nose. Bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The rest of this is crazy. Right? <laughs> what a fiasco, Lupe. Future made you pay. She want to party with the baby while rubbing on Tro- Troy, uh, Tory toupee. That was a bar. I guess she need money back from Trey Song. She G Easy Carl made her crawl for it. Then what the fuck? They poked the monster. I'm going to look at this year. Ho, oh, I'm coming like a porn star. That don't even, that don't make sense though. Okay, I guess it makes sense, but it just I, I'm just gonna I say this. This I listen. She was definitely on like what rhymes with you know the thing, and then she just used them words to like you know like on the website you be like what rhymes with like porn star, and there's like ten shit. I like, think words. she just took whatever she had and <laughs> threw it on a paper, <laughs> and it, and it, and like literally when she heard the song. She threw it and she went in the studio and made this shit. Like, this, like, some shit off the top of her head. Yeah, freestyle. Yeah. This don't even feel like... Yeah. This don't even feel like she gave it a second thought, bro. Yeah. Like, this is some, like... When you have a beat and you're just trying to, like, vibe over, like, just for later. And then she just... She just that makes... Because she... And the way she sing it, too. Yeah. 
it's a little off. So it's like she was just like trying to fill in the gaps. Yeah, she yeah. That <laughs> I think that's what how she be rapping. She's filling the gaps. Like she has like a fiasco, a it's a fiasco, Lupe. and then she's like, ah, right, okay, boom, 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 whatever. It's just, I mean, because other people like I think the Jizza, he rapped like that before. Like you know, like on that you saying names. Like, all these rappers and the thing. But I feel like hers is just... I feel like Safari could probably do that better. Nigga, yeah, Safari could... could Safari, like... Ghost that. wrote this shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this <He> nigga <probably laughs> came half her bars, bro. Bro, but, like... And then that nigga yeah. started dancing. You know, this too, too. I would have been surprised, bro. Yo. Yo, Chance the Rapper dropping. So... Word. I'm about to tap it. He, he been going crazy. I've been listening to his snippets. Niggas don't fuck with him no more. Niggas don't, bro. Yo. After he became mad holy and shit... Nigga, stop Yo, fucking but with him. I feel like he he been holy though. Like it was it was in the, cause I I I listen to his old music too. Like it was kind of like weaved in there or whatever, right? Acid rap was his best music song, or his best shit. But there was then came the like, next one. Color, I feel like coloring coloring book, book was mad good. And that was that was but I think, soul. That was gospel. Like I, I, I fucked with coloring book. Yeah, but after that. I think people stopped fucking with him, bro. I think that album just wasn't... It, it had a lot of filler. There's some good stuff on that big day, but there, I guess it, it's like 25, or It's like a lot of songs on there. How do you feel? You, you, do you think... Like, I don't know. This is getting... Like, rappers do their best work when they in the struggle. Or they rapping about some... I feel like... They, they're rapping some struggle, or they rapping about some drugs, or some shit that's, like, dark. Like, I feel like niggas do their best work in some dark... Like, in a breakup... Like, yeah. singers do their best work. Yeah. Like, rappers do it when they high. They talking about this trap, trapping. Yeah. They get smoking, like, being depression and shit. I feel like... You feel like rap, like, they need that? Because, and after, the, once, once they find, like, peace and all that, like, they, I don't know, no, like, they but, just not the same. Yo, I feel like, I feel like you can never truly, you can have, nah, okay, you can have peace in your life, right? But you're never truly going to be at peace. Like you can have peace and not have peace at the same time, I feel like, in this life. Just because how are you ever going to truly have peace if you have to deal with everyday life in the yes. world? But you can have peace in the sense of, like, I, right, you go with the flow or whatever. Yeah, but you... you, you I you mean, can, I feel what you're saying, but you are more planned out than when you were before, right? Like, yeah. like you're not... A 21 Savage back in 2017 or 20, 2015 yeah. before you even popped off. It's not the same as 21 Savage now. Yeah. But the only thing with him is he learned to continue with the time. Yeah. But like a Chief Keef. Chief Keef is not the same as he was in 20, what is it, 2016, 2015 I when he popped like off? To now. Not even. That was, he probably, it was like 2011. 2011. 2011 2012. He's not the same, bro. Yo, because it was weird because it was 2011, 2012. Like, I remember there was a song like, um,. What was the song was like the beat go off or whatever? Uh, do the uh, uh, do the beat go off? Yeah, because yeah, that was an yeah. older song. Finito. That was like yeah, Finito was like twenty thirteen yeah. or twenty fourteen. I remember when the That's first when that drill out. started coming out. But it didn't actually pop off until like twenty sixteen or whatever. Like twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen was just like the niggas who just was like really listening to drill or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or in the twenty fifteen, sixteen when it was like mainstream or whatever. So it was like weird. By the time he blew up. They could just listen to old old music, and he had already like moved out of Chicago. Wanna... Yeah, and all that, right? That Chicago but, drill shit. But that's, that's what I'm crazy. saying though. Like, like you know, a lot of rappers don't get what? past that that stage after like that first album. Is it because once they got some money on them and got that? Is it do they lose touch? I feel like it depends on where where your identity comes from. Because say it's someone from like Jay Z who. People say four 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 was his best album, or the stuff he's dropped post twenty fifteen is his best work. But that's mm-hmm. arguably, bro. He's a father. He got kids. Versus when he was younger, right? Where the subject matter changes or Nas, like bro. Nas, but those are greats. Nas is as yeah. See that that's the thing. But bro. even Nas though, I f- I listen to more of Nas is more recent, like twenty fourteen and uh more. More than pre twenty fourteen, like obviously the the hits or whatever, but I listen to a lot of his of, of his albums post that song. I feel like because you're a music head, yeah, you're a musical dude. But because I promise you, yeah, <laughs> I, I hear you know, this new shit, bro. I promise Yo. you that I heard. I I tried to tap in, yeah, I couldn't. Or like J Electronica, right? Where it depends what you rap about, because J Electronica, 
he don't he rap about his life, but he raps kind of like how we were talking about how the Bible is written in the sense of like um you're rapping about things you know, things you delight in, whatever. Or what I rap about, I don't necessarily rap about what I'm going through in the moment. I kind of rap about stuff that's inside of me. Like, say, like, Bible stories or some civil rights movements or my heroes. And kind of just merge all of that together. Some of my mm. favorite movies and stuff like that, right? So it's like, no matter what stage I'm in, whether I'm poor or rich, it's what... I'm rapping about that's in me, right? So, so if you, uh, so it, it's like 50 50. I feel like it depends on the person you are. If your whole identity is like, yo, we trapping, we killing niggas, boom, 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 and then you eventually get out of that stage and you're not actively doing it, then the music gonna suffer because sometimes it, it gets corny because you're like, bro, we, we know you're not doing I it. I feel like that's what happened with, um, Dave East. David, yeah, I don't know. He don't rap about nothing. I don't think he ever did, bro. Nah, before he, because before I when know. I feel like what his big thing was like coming out the hood, like New York, New York hood, and he rapper and shit. Yeah. But then after like so much, <laughs> yeah, he got he just, old, like, and you know he making bread, and he living a good life, and then you know what he rapping is not real no more. Yeah, like, like, just like not, it takes away from. He a good rapper though, but it's like, yeah, I see what you're saying though. It's just that the message don't hit. It's not you don't resonate with it. It doesn't resonate right. no more like, because. It's uh, really, I feel like as listeners, we're smarter than we what we let on because we can feel the energy too. For sure. Right? So like someone that... There's a difference also with, between the generic trap rapping versus you talking about the trap, if that makes sense. Like the difference between you talking about how you lived, you know, the struggle you went through versus you just saying the generic, you know, kill niggas, smoke on this odd pack or whatever. But like, yo, like kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... I feel you. It just hit different. It hit, yeah, it, it just hits a little more different. Yeah. So... I feel like that always hit more different, like, you know? But, you know, music is also... Because, say, when you go through a breakup, that's when you're really at your most... Vulnerable. Because that's when you... Nigga, you, you working out OD, you getting outside, you, you literally on a path to becoming, like, better, right? So, obviously, the music will become better, too, because, like, you're like, yo, I'm going to work out, I'm going to be outside, I'm going to... You know, I'm gonna cut weight or I'm gonna gain weight. I'm gonna do this. Be like, I, know, I feel like for musicians, when they when they go through a break or run, they hit the stew instead of like going through that. The same, but it's the same concept though. It's the same thing as you working out, you uh, going crazy. So you you kind of because like, I feel like they they trying to encapsulate their emotions. Yeah. That um they're feeling. Yeah. And you know those emotions, a lot of people are also feeling right. Like yeah. as a you know like you said as a listener, we're smart and we are like I want. Because you feel the energy. Like, as a listener, if I'm feeling sad, I want to feel sadness in that song. Yeah. I want to feel that. So that's why I'm saying, like, a lot of these work come from, like, their most, like, depressive or dark states, right? Like That's your most I feel, vulnerable I like and, emotional. Like, emotional. Because emotion is what kind of what drives you. What right? drives and music. that's the strongest emotion, like, that heartbreak or Exactly. Or I want people, someone dying. I, I, I look to go to music. To evoke that emotion. Yeah. Sometimes. Right? Like, like you know, like, for things that we can't express, yeah. I look to music because I don't... I can't express it to you right now. No, for real. But a music, a song, a lyric, sometimes will even bring out, like, how you actually feel it. And I feel like that's really, like, one of the biggest things. Like, that's why people, uh, I feel like, yeah. artists attached to, like, um, those moments, right? Like, like... They're relatable to a lot, like those drug rappers and yeah. shit like that. Like that depression shit is relatable, right? Like that new wave is mad relatable to a lot of kids. Cause I mean, you're not going if you're sad, you're not about to listen to God's plan and uh, uh, you know, you're not about to you're not about to listen to no pop music. Yeah, you are gonna feel like well, you, you gonna listen, listen to something to the, that's gonna make you feel like damn, this is what to, I'm uh, feeling. What what is it? Uh, you're not gonna listen to Free Spirit when you mad sad. You know what yeah, you do, nigga. You gonna listen to um? Uh, damn, it's a sad song, a sad Drake. Not a sad, like a. Uh, What's that song that he had with that new kid? I don't really listen to new Drake like that, but his old stuff went Word? crazy. His old stuff went crazy to me though. I feel like Drake, Drake's old stuff is always better, in my opinion. But like nothing was the same, like bro. Nothing the same is fire. I will never like that's yeah. Nothing the same is fire, but like, I think he got. I think he got uh. A lot of good, <clears throat> a lot of good shit now too though. Yeah, it's Drake, Drake, Drake is just. I think Drake is a uh, knows how to feed into 
um, media mm-hmm. and knows how to feed and tap into the younger generation always. Yeah, that's his biggest strength. His catalog is crazy. Crazy. But that could also be he knows how to tap into anything, bro. Because he could tap into different cultures. Yeah, he's multicultural. He could tap into different um, genres. Yeah, tap into different youths. Like he had a what's that dude name? Um, what's his name? Like you or something like that. Uh, I forgot. I'm looking up right I was now. What's good? Whiz Kid too. Caribbean? You talking about some? Caribbean? Yeah, some Caribbean Whiz Kid. He had Romeo, bro. He had mad shit. Like. Yeah, nigga always got a new accent. He had a he you had the Arab the song, bro. He had like an Arab song. What's the song? He's like, you know the vibe or something like that. I was like, yo, this thing yeah. is. Uh, bro, even the even the song that he came out with uh bro, with Nicki recently was mad um with Yeet. He came out a song Yeet. with Yeet. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like he could tap into so many, and it's, it's different for him. Like. I think there's like a select fruit and the few in the top like him. Twenty one could tap into all. Well, Twenty one is type young. Er, <clears throat> he, I feel like he is, but he's not though. He's not, but his music is more younger though. Yeah, and more yeah, more energy. I would say. Yeah, I but think could it so. be a detriment? Is that why someone like most deaf, like maybe some OGs probably don't vibrate I, his music as much because yeah. if it. Is more so towards the youth, right? So it's yeah. kind of like you you alienate some of the older people, or as you. Ah, uh, I don't I don't know because he he also he's I feel like recently Twenty One has really transformed. Like on his new album, he's hitting like a sad boy era right now. He's yeah. hitting, he he's singing. He's actually singing. Yeah. He's doing like more melodic shit, like more instead of like you know, sa- uh, like you know, savage gang type. shit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he's really changing. Like, even with the one he did with the Drake album. Right, like okay, the, you found, uh, the, yeah, yeah, the something at eight AM mm-hmm. or something, yeah. Like he, he's really like going on a melod- melodic, more um, singy route, which is like different for him. Which I think a lot of people like and are yeah. tapping into, right? Like he's he's hitting a different age, which is like growth, right? Yeah, but true. I, not all artists are able to expand and stay relevant, right? Yeah, artists have a, a expiration date for sure. I say, you know what? I don't I don't think so. I feel like that is relative to the billboards and mainstream a hundred percent, yeah. Because that's geared towards a certain audience and it's it's geared towards money. Like Vegas is not um like yeah. Right? I, I don't think so. I, I think with streaming, yeah. You can stream whatever you want now. But streaming is also pushed like the stuff that's pushed is billboard, billboard level, level radio level kind of stuff, label level, right? You can still be underground and make your mark, but you're not about to get pushed. Like you, you're not about to get pushed in like a sea of just everyone doing it. No, of course, like if you yeah. make one of the rap radios or something like that, yeah, you're gonna right? be listening to more. But you don't have. To. But you are very liable. You can get found. Like there's a lot of you people who find found right, and yeah. I just don't think like a lot of older rappers for sure. Um, they when they're in their time, and you could, and it's like you could still stream. I still, you still have your old playlist and all. You still stream and think it's just. I don't think too many people are finding looking for them now, and it's yeah. just because. I I don't think they're in style. It's not the style. It's, it's it's harder to find people though. Like to you have to go out of your way to find new people. If that makes sense, like you can't like I don't know like when's the last time you just randomly found a new artist. The Spotify be making it kind of easy though. Yeah, I feel like Spotify for me, it may be to a new artist to me though, okay, right? It may not know. be like a new artist to or somebody else, right? But like, but to me, like, like finding a new artist, it's like damn, all this this shit kind of hit, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? But I I just don't think like because even when you talk about an older rapper or older, they're not really new, they're old. Yeah, like they I, have, yeah. I think they have expiration days, like. They just they they reach a point where like even Lil Wayne when he was tearing shit up, yeah, tearing shit up, he hit a, a point where it's just like, all right, well you know, kind of became a little irrelevant. He will always be able to drop like good features and shit like that, yeah. And he'll have like a noise, a buzz, but it's not like oh it's gonna be a whole nother wave. Like he's gonna take over again. I feel like also it you can since it's in the natural world you can apply that to so much things because for sure like say in the sense Links, of like. Weapon? Even like links. Yeah. Because um what's I gonna say? It's more so like a good wine versus like 
some shit at a 7-Eleven, some alcohol, right? Like, there's some shit that can be timeless, like, regardless. No, for sure. Right? Where it's just, like, you exist separate of what's hot, right? So, if I try to chase what's hot now, and I get big, but then this shit changes in two years, and it's like, damn, I can't really get with that or whatever, or I just can't make that jump. It's over for me. It's done, right? Versus, you know how people say, if you just stick in your lane, do what you got to do. I mean, the right people going to find you, and you're always just going to be in your niche, in your spot, right? No, for sure. It you depends make, what your goal is. Like, yeah, it depends right? on it. Exactly, right? If you're trying to be a 21 or Drake, bro, you're going to have to follow the trend. You're going to have, have to, to follow it. Right? Like, that, that's just life. That's just, just what it is. If you want to be on your own time in your own niche, then, I mean, you do that, and then you do, like, what you got to do to be where you want to be. And that's right, though. Like, so, there's, there's songs that are timeless. Like, yeah. Dreams of Nightmares. Fanito. Yeah. Since is, you gonna listen to them, they're gonna be forever. Like, I'm gonna be 60. Kind of like, yeah. Bumping that in the car, and going like crazy. Other generations gonna listen to it, too. This yeah, is of course. This thing's gonna age bad, forever, bro. Yeah. But, you know, it's... Like I, I think I think, I think think it's human. Yeah. Evolution is human. Right? Like, there's always something that's gonna be better that's gonna come out that's gonna be better in the next five to ten years. Yeah. Something's gonna get replaced. Always. Like, it's not... You can listen to... You probably ain't gonna listen to the next RZA album that drop, but if Cream comes on, niggas gonna niggas be like, "Hey, it. right?" And right. it's what forty years later or something. I don't know, bro. It's yeah, it shit happens. I think it's evolution. It happens. It happens with technology. Yeah, it happens with music. It happens with people, right? Like if you think about the generation back then, they was supposed to quote unquote mad modest. Yeah, right. Look at relative. where we at now. Yeah, relative, relative though. though. Yeah, right. But look at where we at now, right? Yeah, like it's just. How things they have phones, we have phones. So games change, right? Yeah. So it's like I think it's just evolution. I think things have time expression dates. Things may get better, things may get worse. It's just a cycle. Yeah. No, that's like a, that's a cool even the modest thing is like so interesting too, because like it's like so different. Everything changes. Even just culture, right? Like there's a cultures where it's like yo, yeah. you can um like they say uh back then, uh John used to lay on Jesus' head or whatever, right? Man to man or whatever. If you go to other, other cultures where it's like men show more emotion toward each other, like if you're friends with someone. That's gay. Yeah, right? But then here it's different. Like if I see a nigga just laying on someone else's like shoulder, I'll be like, I like, I don't know what these niggas on. I mean, hey, y'all, y'all on what y'all gotta be on, right? But it's just like, it's just different, different culture sometimes. And then as time goes on too, right? Like, um, say short shorts, right? That shit just got hot. But Mad back hot. then, if you wore short shorts, niggas like, ah, oh, yeah, this nigga definitely get But it. if if you wore it back, back then, yeah. that was in. Larry Bird and them niggas. Yeah, back. Wearing... Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Back, back then. You're it was right. like, niggas used to, if you think 2000s, baggy clothes. Yeah. Baggy clothes is back in. If you wore back, if you wore short shorts, though, in 2003, niggas would look at you yeah, funny. They'd yeah. be like, oh, yeah, this nigga at the Pride Parade, bro. Exactly. Like, bro, right? And it's like, dang, 20 years later. And it's like, yeah, right. It's so it's like, bro. It's like, and yeah. then baggy clothes to skinny jeans. Bro, you back to baggy clothes now. I remember even me from middle school all the way to end of college. Like I remember even like it was like always switched. Like skinny jeans one year, I couldn't then baggier jeans. jeans, then you know tighter stuff, bigger stuff. Even senior year of college, I remember I, I wore um skinnier like joggers and stuff like that. I do not, remember those, yeah. They, all that's that, all they sold. Right? I remember going to the stores, they only had the joggers with this shit on. Yeah, bro. And then and then now, I'll be, I get 2XL t-shirts, baggy sweats and shit like that. And I'm like, yo, shit is always, but I feel like this is way more comfy, like just baggier vibe. I love but I'm it. I'm like, it's crazy how it's just like, bro, just like that. And you don't even realize it though. Because you look at your closet, you're like, damn, nah, shit's kind of too tight, and nah, I'm not going to rock I'm not, yeah, you're uncomfortable in this shit. And then next thing you know, it's like, okay, maybe, right? It's like, so, it's crazy, like, I it's weird, like, just because you just, you just don't know. It's a cycle. Yeah. All that shit is a cycle. Everything that's old uh, and new, yeah. and it's keeps cycling through, especially fashion. I think now, I think I'm going to stay. I think we're maybe getting towards that age where, like, we kind of have our identity oh, yeah, of what we like, right? Because yeah. if you like what you like, you're just gonna, you're gonna rock that forever. Yeah. You're going to see everyone else change, but you're still wearing the same, right? Yeah. Like, you're you're going to you're gonna have your date. style. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be out of date, and then 10 years later, everyone's trying to dress just like you. They think you're the highest person alive. You're the you highest thing. Been because, doing it. And it's like, oh, I, oh, this I've swag, been doing right? it. It's me. And then two years later, you're the waggest nigga alive because, like, damn, this nigga dressed like, right? Yeah. It's like crazy. 
That's funny as fuck. Speaking about style, I actually been trying to get into watches more. Oh, I got this cool. watch actually. I just got this watch. I mean, like you know, of course I'm not copying like expensive watches. <laughs> is that is it to um to like wear? To wear. So like you switch out. Oh, that's that's type cool. Oh. Um, that's hard. It got the it got the date on it. That's cool. See, so you got the date. It got the green, the green. Um, what's it called? Plate on the inside. You wear it to like work. You, would you wear? It? I wear it to work. Oh, sometimes so... I wear it to um, motherfucking the, to the bars, club. Are you? Um... I wore it to like uh, one of those dinners and shit like that. Cause I know we have the Apple watches. So yeah, so this is what you happened. Have an Apple watch? I got an Apple watch. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But I don't, I don't really like using my Apple watch because it just, it, it makes me feel like I'm too tapped in. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like. I had it, and I, I it would always ring, notify, or I look down, and it gives me like I have anxiety, kind of like with that shit. Yeah. So my shit's You're stay, always looking. I'm at looking something. at it like I'm like, damn, I, I really can't do this. <laughs> yeah. So, so what I was gonna do? I had a the holiday party, and I've been just looking at watches like. Just, yeah. And I was gonna get a case. I got a case for my watch. That's so like a silver one too. But um, I was like, damn, I don't even like because I don't like the Apple Watch. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to get a watch. So now I'm, I think I'm going to start looking into watches and shit. That's cool. It's nice. It's cool. It's like a green. So do you, you like find, like, is it like you got to find like a, like like shoes? Like, yo, I found this rare watch or whatever that like. Oh, That's the thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't got the bread for the rare ones yet. Yeah. But I mean, it it depends though, cause like you could find rare shoes for like a hundred thirty, but th- another rare shoe could be like a thousand. Like exactly. there's different levels yeah, to like just, rare. Like exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right? I'm looking for pieces that look nice, like this one. My mom actually, she reminded me. She got me this one a while ago. And I just never. Like, I, this is the this is the one that I got for my watch. This is my watch. I'll show you my watch right now. Copy. Yeah, I know that this is more like. Um, like with Trey, like yo, you got a watch. It's like yo, you do get looked at differently. I feel like it's yeah. like an actual. It looks nice. Like it yeah, looks. So this is like, the one. I, so it's my Apple Watch. I put it in this. That's cool. That's calm. That's cool. That's calm. Oh, that's like, like you know, the, like that's, that's actually it looks clean. You know what I'm saying? And it's good material. Like if like you hold it, like it's good material. That's like best of both because you get like that status of like you know this type of whatever. What is it, like a chain link or something? Yeah, like, like the or, Jubilee kind of thing. Yeah, but then you get like the. The tech or whatever. That's a cool. Yeah, thing. like you can still. So I was like, this is solid. And then my mom, she remember me. She got me this one. It's just nice. Yeah, it's like, like a little really gold. Good. Like it's nice. You could change the thing. This I one. I like that because that's like different. Yeah, yeah. like the like little one, thing. Yeah. You put that like with a. Or like with a with a, a black, black. Yeah, black. Like yeah. that. Put yeah, that all black, black, and then that is with a gold chain. Yeah. I feel like you know you could do some shit with it. Nah, that shit was. Like I just never. Like, I never. Um, I never wore this because before I really like watches. You yeah, don't think I've ever had one except like the Burlington ones in like middle school. Yeah, you know, I think like, yeah, it's like, one of these that like that your mom made you wear. Yeah, like yeah, like just one song. I was like, you know, why not? Like, yeah, why not? Yeah, especially for um, like even if you don't wear it, I feel like a real watch would be cool for like any formal type. Of, any like, formal it's an interview or like a, a job thing. Yeah, it looked nice, you know. Like it's just like some like. Yeah, like, it's just, like, for that day, it's cool. A nice timepiece. People look, they, I feel like, I don't know, maybe they look at me like, oh, look, this guy got a little style to him. Yeah, no, and, it, and it's different, because I know everyone is kind of in that um, Apple Watch era. Yeah. Which, yo, that, it, it's it's kind of crazy when you really, like, look at it, and it's like, yo, I'm looking at, I have so much stuff, like, I got a personal laptop, but you have your personal laptop, then you have, like, a, a PC, and then you have like your gaming console, then you have like your your iPad or tablet, then you have like your Apple Watch, and then you go to your car, you have the the CarPlay tablet, and then you tap I, in. I have then then some people you have like an electric um Modern, for yeah. the thing type, and it's like yo, we really in that world where it's like yo, bro, everything is Digital. really screen like just yo everything, bro. Like we used to. Make rice in a pot, but like no, you got the rice cooker. That's like electric. I still make my rice in the pot. Bro, I still make one in the pot, but like still, it's like yo, we could have everything just like electric. Like just, it's yeah, electric, just screen, bro. It's it's kind of crazy. It's crazy. Like, you, yeah, like it's crazy, right? Like it's wild. If you were to take all the electricity and all electronical things from people, 
Bro, it's clip. Shit will be a madness, bro. Even just like um, there's a movie I watched that it was it had Ethan Hawke and um, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's like Mahashira or something Ali or something. He the dude's about to play Blade too. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. It's like the end of the world, and there was like this little tidbit of like, yo, um, the internet satellites went out, so like all the te- now you can't go on the highway because all the Teslas are crashing because with no internet and stuff. They can't. They can't. Track the whole the thing bricks, so all the cars are crashing. I'm like, yo, like, that is the scariest thing. That's wild. Like, all half of these cars, like the new Hondas and stuff, you like, bro. Like, there was a thing where you can't even get into your Honda because if the battery dies, you can't open the car door because it's, like, battery powered and shit like that. It's electrical. And it's, like, you're basically, like, bricked. And it's, like, bro. How the fuck can you turn the battery back on, then? It was, like, some It was like some crazy thing. It was, like, some glitch or whatever. But I was, like, yo, we just in a world where it's crazy. So it really is the... Like, imagine telling... Bringing someone in from, like, 1940s oh, to yeah. now. And it's, like, bro, yo, everything is digital. Oh, yeah. so it's crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it. it's like, I don't know, I guess we are getting into breakthroughs in terms of, like, fighting diseases and maybe life expectancy and stuff, like, maybe. No, yeah, there's, there's pros and cons, but it's just, you you never, you, you really not going to know how much is really helping you, what's yeah. really helping and what's not. It's because, like, yo, it's too much knowledge. Like, I don't know, it's too much knowledge bad at some point where it's like, yo, you just know too much, but you're not... I, Nothing good is coming out of it, in a sense. I feel like there's a lot of information, but there's, there's good and bad information. Yeah. And there's information to your point, and there's information to another person's point, and you don't know. Yeah. You don't know what's right and what's wrong. You don't know, yeah. You really don't know what's... Unless it's like, you know, even scientifically, even those could even be fumbled. But like, you really don't know until you try something. Yeah. Like, for yourself. There's a lot of things that you could look up and be like, like even if they say, "Oh, I got a cough and I got this and that," you be like, "Oh, you got cancer." Yeah, right. That yeah. You know what you're I'm saying? You your symptoms. It's like yeah, you about to die. You in like, like you, two days. you. There's too much information out there that you don't. Yeah. You, it's it's a lot of information to process. Be a detriment. Yeah. But you don't know what's good information about fake news. Yeah. Like that's that's, that's, that's like, really be some real fake shit. Fake news is probably the the main thing because like everyone, yo, misinformation is just crazy. Just especially with social media. They grab it's on everywhere, yeah. If they push on them, bro, and they grab on something, it's bro, over. I feel like especially with um, <clears throat> it's crazy because I don't think Vine had this problem because Vine was always for fun, right? But with TikTok, oof, it's not really just for fun now because people be pushing like agendas, whatever it is, right? Oh yeah. But like some things where it's like, yo, things aren't meant to be indulged in like twenty seconds, right? Like you can't. Like, someone talks to you on the topic for 20 seconds. It's like, oh, that sounds good. Now that's what you're thinking of. And the whole time is wrong. But it really, exactly. it would take you an hour to debunk it, right? So, like, within an hour of you watching 40 videos in this rabbit hole, and it's just wrong information, right? Like, just quick bullet points, and it's like, you're not, you're not about to fact check on a 20-second video. And it's like... That's the thing, right? Yeah, right? So you just, just think what you see. It's, it's actually, like, insane, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I actually learned that. Like, me and my girl, we've been doing um these dates. Yeah. And so we started off like, yo, let's look up some spots. Oh, let's look on TikTok. And, you know, like, so these, all these, like, food critics on TikTok, they're just trying to get big. Or they're trying to, they get a check from these restaurants. Yeah. They're going to go see them. And they'll be like, <laughs> oh, it's great. Like, you should get this. Yeah. And we would go. And these places is trash. <laughs> yeah. These places are straight up trash, bro. Yeah. Like, trash. You know so it's like... Get? Um, there's like a card thing for dates. Like you, you pick one out or something, and it's like, yo, you gotta do this or something. But anyways, yeah, I, like, I gotta uh, do some shit. Like I got my Valentine's. Not va- Valentine's oh, coming up, already, yeah. but my anniversary's oh, coming up too. Shit, it's only two weeks. Yours is uh, my anniversary time. is the twelfth. Not like it's not gonna be like last year, right, bro? Nah, I gotta go. Back. About to go crazy. I'm. I think we're gonna go. We're just gonna go to a spa, then dinner. Yeah. And then I'll do some little something for Valentine's, but not we. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last time I said I was going to... <laughs> you know, I took it serious. This time we'll do a little something, bro. Yeah. No. Damn, that's just coming up. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm Majority. trying to see the Bob Marley movie, too. You got a movie coming out? Yeah, it's coming out on Bob Marley on... I think it's on Valentine's Day or something like that. I'm trying to see it. Either that day, like, or around that day, though. It's going to be dope. Fine. 
The dude, the dude was in the Barbie movie too. It was like crazy. The actors really be like, which one? The black dude. The black dude, light skin. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. He's like British or something like that. Oh, fine. and he was in the Marvel show too. Like, and he's gonna play. He's Bob, Bob Harley. Harley. Yeah. Wow. Bro, I'm thinking. I'm like, yo, is that his like grandson or some shit like that, or his son? He look, he, right? he look a little bit. But then towards the thing, I'm like, wait, no, that's that's that dude. But it's like he didn't, he didn't have that much uh, a long face though. I feel like Bob Marley had a long face. Yeah, no, he had a longer face. Yeah, but his is more like boxy. It was like yeah. shorter, right? I mean, it's like just dope fake okay. dreads on yeah. On a light skin nigga, like hey. They did. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if you've seen on Netflix the. Griselda Blanco movie. Yo, I was saying Fire. about it. Is it is it true is it accurate or whatever? They say it says for the Yeah, I guess it's a story. It's always on Netflix. You know how they embellish shit. Know. But um, actually, they because the, so what it is, you gotta watch it soon because they saying that the son is is suing Netflix for putting up um the show with Fire's permission. Yeah, and they and he was tight because they were saying that um they put mad prosthet- prosthetics on her. Uh, on uh, Sofia uh, Vergara, yeah, and that she, cause they, it was a scene. I was looking at, it, I was like, damn, they made her no mad fucking thing, <laughs> and they made it look crazy. And so, oh, nah. they made it look crazy, bro. I was like, oh shit, that's is that how she look and shit? I think but they were saying that she was the get true to it's true line. They get Pablo Escobar said he not scared of no man. The only man he's scared of is uh, right. said the Blanco. Yo, they said like she killed like. All her ex-husbands or something Bro, like that. what? It was like two or three of them. Bro, like, nah. so our first one, she done killed that nigga because... Yeah. So what What it was, DK, the story was... I'm just gonna... Yeah, no, I'm not... Yeah, yeah. If, I'm it's this true story, so it's not like... Yeah. She's not even... Yeah, like that shit happened. It's but. crazy, though, because... So he had a brother that they were in a drug... In Colombia, yeah. the drug business. But he had a... His, uh, his, uh, her ex-husband had a debt to him because uh, some cargo was lost going yeah. to New York. So he had to pay like millions of dollars. So instead, he was like, my brother said, I'll wipe your shit clean if you sleep with him. So Damn. so the ex-husband made her sleep with the thing. And then, so he got back to the, so she did it, but she was dumb tight, right? Oh, and then she okay. saw him again, and he was like, you like it? So what, you liked it? I'm like, yo, bro, you made you her missed, do it. Yeah. You like, and I was like, God damn, that's crazy. I feel like they was, and then what about the second? Um, I, like I, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't got to that part. to that part yet. Yeah, I feel like they they go on different timing though. It's not like no regular like, gears, so they just on some different like. But that nah, I I love those type of shows. They fire. That's wild. I've been watching The Bear on Hulu. Um, I don't what know was that? It's like it's so like obscure. Just like because I never would have watched it if I didn't see like a clip online. But the the girl that's on it, she's Nigerian. She's winning like an Emmy. For her performance on it or something like that. Oh, wow. But it's like about a dude and then his brother commits suicide and leaves him his, like, restaurant business. And then he has to, like, run it or something. Oh, so It's like, it has some good actors on it, though. And it's like a fun little vibe. Right. 30, 40 right. minutes. Like, a, I think it's two seasons or three. Oh, so fine. I'm finishing the first right now, but yeah. Right. Yo, Don. Yo, mom would have just been the bear. The bear? Watch the bear on Hulu. And, um, oh, I want to talk about MLK, bro. Okay, go ahead. It could be next. I think my dime, I think because it was the first topic we were talking about, about Don't Meet Your Heroes. Ah. Uh, and then I was like, I was like, yo, this, that's crazy. Like, should it really be different, though? That's why, like, I know that Jesus Christ died for his sins. But since he is not the father, but he has God's essence, that's kind of, like, how you can be saved or whatever. But... So if he's not God or whatever, if he's not God, then it's kind of like, well, if he dies, it's like, okay, or whatever. So Martin, his thesis was that Jesus never died and he never resurrected and that it wasn't possible. So essentially it's like, it's like a Muslim saying that they don't believe that Muhammad was a prophet or something. It's like, so I guess, but that's, that? that's, that's, that's like the whole point of the whole, well, like, right, yeah, the whole right. point of the thing. And then like, there was like a bunch of like beliefs that were like, not actually Christian, right? So it's like, damn, but it's kind of like, for the optics, though. Like he, was, he was a, man. what's it called? Um, Jehovah Witness. Ba- basically, like, he was on some, like... Yeah, I just crazy. found out Jehovah Witness is something else. Yeah, they something, yeah, they all some crazy... Like, I, th- I, didn't, I thought Jehovah Witness was the people that walked to your crib and knocked on your door and, and read the Bible and shit. They, I think they are. Jehovah's Witness and Mormon, they all on the same... But, but, I, now I just found that, out Jehovah Witness is a whole religion. 
Yeah, yeah, they different than than the standard Christianity Orthodox. Yeah. They be on some Transformers vibe. Like they be like Jesus and Satan were like you know like Optimus and Megatron. Like exactly. they was like some twin brothers and yeah. then like they I don't know. It, that should be crazy. Everyone got their thing, but it's just like on some. That's like, some crazy like, rules too. That's you know they be going OD, bro. OD. Like, it's like like a cult and all you know. All seriousness is a cult. Yeah, but um, yeah, but I guess for Martin they just kind of wanted to like you know the image of like your family man, Christian man. You know, bringing the quality. So, you know, it's like, kind of like the duality, right? Like, don't meet your heroes. Because, like, yo, he did mad good. But it's like, damn. But you see this thing at the orgy. Because I feel like, yeah, stuff. With a white like, woman. Yeah, and then. And then you fight for all this. And then he not even, right? So, it's kind of like, yo, it's not really black and white. Because I remember I was like, I was like, yo, that's crazy. I mean, though. you could say he was conquering. <laughs> he was conquering, conquering the yeah. white race. Like, it just, like, puts into perspective because i'm like yo the man i want to be i want to be like a husband and stuff like that i can't look up to martin in that aspect because like no nah, whatever right it's he like, was always cheating we always knew yeah. the other thing he was cheating and then even the thing with coretta and all that where it's, it's just like a it's like a political marriage like just for like optics of like yo like obviously if you're gonna fight for the black race you're gonna have to marry a black woman have black kids kind of be a Christian in a pulpit and a preacher so yeah. you could kind of be like on that and like damn that shit was really just like just like a front I'm like it do make me feel some type of way cause I'm like damn though like like you know like like dang but now I kind of see right why I think I think Malcolm kind of had beef for him about it I think and a lot of kind of people too even with Christians in general right because say if you think of like Christians you think of Martin Luther King and stuff like that but then you realize, oh wait, so you saying he a, he saying he a Christian, but he not even, not me doing all this. So I'm not even. That makes mad that. sense why they have mad beef. Yeah, Malcolm like, out yeah. here doing it for real, like he's fighting. This yeah. nigga out here going to orgies. Yo, he, he released this dude bro. is dumb tight, and then nah, babe, listen, I'm gonna say this one thing. At least at least they fought for something and it worked. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, but it's like I feel what you're saying though, because yeah. it's like damn, like this this kind of. Making it kind it's of crumble right now. Yeah, it's just like... And even his name. Like his parents Shit. gave him... The white devil. Um, literally. So, like, in Christianity, you had <sighs> Catholics. And then afterwards, Orthodox broke off from Catholics. So it was just... Oh, you could only be Catholic or Orthodox. And then with Martin Luther, he was a um, kind of like a reformer back in the 1600s. And he broke up... He kind of... I'm low-key. not saying this as, as well, but... Think of every single denomination that isn't Catholic or Orthodox. That's literally from Martin Luther saying, nah, we're breaking up from y'all. So Baptists, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, all these denominations, oh, wow. right? It's literally from him saying, nah, we're breaking up from the Catholic Church. We're starting our own thing or whatever. So his parents gave him the middle name of Luther. So it could be Martin Luther. So kind of like it's all premeditated. Because the great Christian reformer, Martin Luther, we're going to name our son Martin Luther King. But, you know, like Martin Luther. Because when you, when you say his name, what do you say? You say, Mar- you say Martin Luther King. You don't just say Martin King. You say Martin Luther King because that's kind of like what they say. Because, like, you, you, uh, you know, okay, Martin Luther was a great reformer. Now Martin Luther King, he's, a, he's reforming too on that sense. So it's like, yo, all this stuff is like... It's wow, crazy. Wow, that's, that's pretty... It's like... I was like... That's a crazy day. I was like... Conspiracy. Even when I was younger, I was like, yo, that's kind of crazy, though. Because, like, yo, Martin Luther King got the same name as Martin Luther. And they did kind of the same kind of thing in the sense of, like, yo, they really changing the world, for real. Right? And I was like, oh, they literally named... They literally changed his name. Nah, I... It, it sounded like it's very premeditated. I wonder who really pulled them strings. Bro, that's why I'm just like... But, like, yo... It's not black and white, bro. Like, there's no good and bad. Like, everyone is human, right, at the end of the day. But, yeah. It's just, like, also... Damn, like, fufa fatal right there. Yeah, I was like, damn, like, wow. That's crazy. That's like, so I was, crazy. Like, because I... Like, that is crazy. That, like, because I'm just like, dang, like... I want to look that up, because that's crazy. Right? Because even, like, Coretta, like, she is a queen, too, for real. But then it's, like, that's yeah, kind of sad in the sense of, like... I mean, it's it's happening. I'm about to bring a uh, uh, 
Jonathan Majors to that fucking right now. <laughs> <Johnny, yo, laughs> you seen the picture? Yeah. So they photoshopped him because that that shows that because that nigga Martin Luther King was not doing it. Yo, why he looked like the, he really do look like you could drop him? You could drop him back. Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. He got the cup. Home, yeah. He looked like he never got a shape up. Yo, not for real. He looked like he was going through that struggle. Slavery. Nah, she was hilarious. But yeah, man, that's you yeah, just just I, I don't know, man. Yo, shout out to Martin though. Yeah, for doing Shout what you did, bro. Him. And whoever planted him, because that's an industry plant. Literally. That's bro, what you're just basically called. These are industry plants. And people be talking about, like, secret societies and stuff, like, where stuff is, like... That's real. Like, you know how with Batman has, like, the Court of Owls? Like, the Court of Owls, mm-hmm. like, they control everything that got them since the past thousands of years. Like, that's kind of scary when you think about it. Like, bro, like, some stuff is, like, planned, like, but... Oh, yeah. Yo, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know, bro. Yeah, man. We got and it's Black Energy Month too, right? The Black just started. I be forgetting today. That's crazy. First day, but shout out to all first day you debunked him, debunking shit. <laughs> One of the black leaders, man. Good. <laughs> first crazy. day, but then also because like it, because Malcolm is kind of black, black, um, blacklisted too. Because like since he started from the Nation of Islam, which is like historically like anti-white. Yeah. Obviously, they're not gonna put him in these textbooks and shit, nope. right? But then the good, you know, Christian man who is like more peaceful and stuff like that, and that's who they were kind of. And then Martin, he did have. It's, they speeches, they right? definitely they definitely had their both right. Mal uh, Malcolm had his his scene, and then Martin had his scene. They had yeah. to have that that contrast. They yeah. had to have that contrast at the time. But they also said that Martin wasn't always like that. They said he was also more radical in the beginning, like his earlier speeches where he was more kind of like Malcolm. So that's why there's a conspiracy as well where it's like, yo, we're going to let you rock but you got to be more like on that peaceful type of vibe. Okay. Like, don't be trying to incite. Because then, it, then, yeah, then it's like... So then it's kind of like, damn. But it's like, you know what, bro? Hey, we all like, we all human at the end of the day, like, and it's not black or white. I don't even know. We can all live together now. Yeah, not for real. Hey, hey, shit. Not the same, bro. Not the same. That's what matters. Embrace Fame Podcast. Pow. Boom. Sir.